I, I was so humiliated. I felt so bad. I told him that I soon come back. And I went to the bathroom and I cry. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> and ambassador of Chai's records. Big respect. You have any clippings of collecting a plaque there or anything? Yeah, man. I have, so I, I, I have mm. photo and, and, and video with the plaque and, and, and so forth. Definitely. Yeah, up on the screen right now. So you go? Yeah, yeah man. man. Up on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah, man. So it's just my thing that doesn't match with a Jackie thing. Like I would say in, in World Peace, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. Jack, you don't make them sound there. And I took the time out to come and do this interview today, but because it is Pelper time. Definitely. Because it's Pelper time. And I can tell you this um, Pelper time is not the type of platform that only run down some artists where them say are the top of the top artists or lower the lower artists are in the middle. Oh. Pelper, I deal with equal rights and justice. Pelper Time Protection. Mm. Alright, welcome back to Inside the Music on Pelper Time. You know I'm your host, Jeezy B. And right now we have a big up for the sponsor, Subbies. You know what I mean? Bayside Portmore, right beside of Ken's Wife, in between um, Rapid True Value. Come out here and get your jerk. Oink, oink, your jerk. Quack, quack. You know what I mean? All of the jerk food and nice ambience. Everybody can just come out and have a vibe with them family and thing. You have space, you can have a drink also. So big up subbies all the time. Be aside, pour more. You know what I mean? We're here with none other than, none other than nature, Ellis. What are you going with, brother? Yes, we are here and giving thanks and praises. We are here to see another day. The sun is shining. As the great Bob would say, the weather is cool. It's a little jizzle, but we give thanks and praise because it's all nature. All nature. The name just suit the eye. You know what I mean? Well, it suit everyone. Yeah. If you should actually know what nature is and Mother what it, it should be acknowledged nature. as. <laughs> Definitely. Nature. We want the people and get to know nature from from the younger stage when you never name nature yet. You know what I mean? As a stage name. So tell me about your upbringing from where you're from, schooling, all of that. Yes, um, before nature and before nature Ellis, my mother and father gave me the name Andre. And you know, my, my father is Ellis, so automatically Andre Ellis, which is my certified name. But my, them call it nickname now, which would be Oral. So my nickname was the name that my mother gave me. Why the name Oral? Um, because there was a great pastor yeah. back in the days called Oral Roberts. Okay. So my mother saw something in me in regards to being someone who will be vocal. And um, someone with a message from a tender age. And she thought that she should call me Oral. And you know the word Oral mean mouth. So what happened now? As a result of all of that, it was like a revelation because I use my mouth to sing. Yeah, definitely. Says so word, power, and sound coming through in my mouth. Just as though Oral, Oral, Oral Roberts in his field as a pastor would have been a great evangelist as or, or someone who is dealing with the message. I am here in my, in my way dealing with the message on yeah, a verbal element. level. Uh, verbal level so yeah. you, where was you brought up? Yes, up. of course. Um, I was brought up in parish of St. James. Yeah. I play in Montego Bay, a place called Glendevon. Yeah. I went to Glendevon early at school, and you know, and that's that's when I really found my talent. In, Glendevon. Uh, yeah, are right. where my talent Developed. was acknowledged. Yeah, yeah. Within myself, you know yeah. what I mean, and other ones at the time, because there was a concert going on at school. And um, from grade three to grade nine, which was the school um, grade ended at grade nine, from from grade one to grade um, yeah, it's like nine. All age. All age. So what happened? Um, from grade three to grade nine, participated in the concert at a competition vibe and from because a young I, young age that man. Right, I was one. nine. Yeah, I was very pretty young. 
So because I always been mumbling, some of the singing in class. So the, the teacher said, you know what? You're gonna represent my cl the, this, oh, your class. Yeah, as as the singer for the as class. As a singer. So I did my part in, in 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 the concert, and you know the whole place erupted. Can you remember any one of those songs that you used to sing in high school? Well, they at the time I didn't have a song for myself at the time. But oh, you used to the sing over. But, like. but but the teacher taught me a song. So like. Do not touch it, do not touch it, do not touch it, drugs. Do not touch it, do not touch it, do not touch it, drugs. Drugs will now. harm you, then destroy Call you, so. Do not touch it, do not touch it, do not touch it, drugs. So, yeah. from, from day one is a consciousness, and I know what I mean? Yeah, I never see drugs. the consciousness in me, so. I, I guess they could have given me any other song to sing, but it was a song talking about don't touch the drugs. And I tell you, we have seen what, how drugs, especially hard drugs, I destroyed so many people's life, you know what I mean? So, so from, from, yeah, send out a message from uh, From that age, you know what I mean? Age. From that age, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I think I was about nine or ten at the time, you know? Yeah, go on. I say, I'm not sure the place, place I hear yeah, up man, on the my, stage. Yes, I said, don't touch the drugs. Right, and my elder sister, who was going to the school at the time, um, went to home the evening and said to my mother and father and the family, say, yo, or I'll mash up the place at school today, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm mean, saying, because... never have no clippings in there with a flicky top, Yeah, them right? days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? So, at the time, I was like... Before that, I didn't really got that type of love in, gen in general. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, to say, okay, this is what he's good at. And everyone at school started to show me love. And so, okay, so basically, I become like a little star in the school now, you know? You know little, the little girls that didn't normally... Talk Come and you. embrace me a certain way, and they start talk to me now. And yeah. certain boy would have want to beat me up or war with me. Yeah, <laughs> them have me have a little star now. So I'm most a man I go say, yo, to yeah, most like one man would say, are you to that? Say, no, yo, I'm gonna go DJ lunchtime, I'm gonna go DJ and beat this round. This so, so I must clash them with a clash. Yeah, yeah we start to sing, sing, and develop with thing and with talent, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's where it started from. Give thanks to that teacher. So, I was who, growing up in a financial perspective. Yes, as most of us, um, you know, it was tough. It was tough, but we didn't realize how tough it was as children growing up. Because my mother and father have six of us. And um, give thanks to my mother and father still to get a big respect. And, um, but it wasn't easy because we worked like in a very small one room. And um, the list goes on. We used to have to... Walk home from school after we walk, go to school in the morning. Sometimes, like 50% of the time, not 100%, like 50% of the time when my mother and father decide they might join partner and they have to save because they decide so they want to make the build, build a better home, home structure and so forth. So they would say, All right, come home for lunch. So as much as we get eat dumpling and porridge, go to school in the morning, lunchtime, we walk, come back. Walk in home. the sun. How far was that walk? Quite a distance. You know what I mean? And we walk home and uh, in the in the sun and came home and some um, basically can have some caramel porridge or some rice and mackerel or whatever it was that mom and dad had to offer. And thing and, and, and they gave it in the name of love and and um, sometimes I've even friend one or two friends of mine would come home with me sometime who didn't have even have lunch. And my mom and dad would make sure that if it's one plate of food that I would have been getting, they make sure they share it and so that my friend would get some when they come home with me from school and we go back to school happily and Yeah, cause when you're young you're innocent. You know, you know what I mean? So you know, we sometimes we wait on the new tribune truck truck to get the new tribune and the milk and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these things. So when we go, these things help to make us who we are right now. Because we are some type of youths right now who we are very strong mentally. We understand how to hold our own and to survive without, as some would say, fall to certain type of situations. You know what I mean? But we can anger ourselves and we give thanks that we, 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 from a tender age, we appreciate love the mango tree, the Neesberry trees, because as a youth growing up, we had to take our book. But there was a little time as you would say, don't know as boys, you're gonna steal out of the house and go and mango bush or nisberry bush and go and pick mango and nisberry. And yes, mama and daddy is cooking, of course, but sometimes as you would say, adventurous. Definitely. You know what I mean? I'm gone, gone, 
do all these things and you know what I mean, a climb climb tree, yeah, there. climb trees and make catapult, shoot bird and you know what I mean and a roast bird and Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so say so, say so it was a it was a joyful upbringing. Yeah, you know, we have a natureful upbringing. Definitely. You know what I mean? So, Devon, so much. Was the Glevan back then like the Glev Glen Devon now or them put out in the media of the Glen Devon Montego Bay, you know how them put Montego Bay in the media now, how them have it say a bad place and well, was it like that? The truth is, up? you know, the truth about it, um Everywhere there are good people. Yeah. And everywhere there are people who tend to be misled. Yeah. And um but growing up, it was you know that arcade down the road around the road there's some bad man you know, bad man everywhere. You know what I mean? I, I, and good people they everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it to be honest, it wasn't that bad. Because we as youths used to be able to, you know, we, you know, kick some football and but I realized what I, what I can say, I realized when the play field became of um, when the play fields were taken away mm -hmm. from these communities and some of these communities which should have been um, centers to develop the youths. Definitely. When these things were actually not put in place and some of these things were taken away as well and to build schemes and to build a lot of other things that had nothing to do with the youths and the future mm -hmm. i realized that a lot of these youths turned to crime because there were not certain things certain things were not put in place no ball field no dead because at one the point I yes the girls. Be yeah because i can remember at one point we have a football field and we literally as youth had to fight for the football field to be a football field now yeah. even right now we have to actually I don't want to go in detail, but we actually had to like, it Protest was almost like person. breaking the law because tractors were coming to dig up the, the football field and we had to be like moving away certain things off the football field to play football again to let them see that, listen, we are using the football field. Mm -hmm. And, you know, growing up as well, you know, because I don't want to just stick on the point about the crime. I am a, I am a person who want to deal with what can stop the crime. Yeah. Or make the crime less and the violence in our communities because growing up at a very at a very tender age, I used to see a lot of people pass in my house, like hundreds, maybe thousands of people pass in my house, walking past my house to go to a place called Free Zone, yeah. or the factories where they used to do tailoring and all these things. So I can imagine those factories used to employ maybe thousands of people in many different communities or areas or different parishes probably yeah. but i can talk for where i was mm -hmm. and um then what one point even my mother at one point used to be working at the factory and um so many others and so you know that you would have to have securities you'd have what to have employment a lot of tailors dressmakers um chef people have to cook in the canteen supervisors supervisors and the list goes on and on and um, janitors, you know, just to, just, to, and just to name a few of the things that a factory would need as workers, a few people that, that factory would need. And at one point I heard that the factory was closed. Yeah. So I can imagine if thousands of people were going to that factory to earn a living to take care of their children, imagine when these factories were closed. And unemployment. Are unemployment rain. will create crime. Definitely. Because... You need money. A hungry man is an angry man. Right. And when you can't take care of the children. You see the kids are crying for food, so they're hungry, you know. You go out there, you know, even you, as you, an honest man. Even as an honest man, you see your, your daughter, your son, and right. cry, so they're hungry. Right. So I won't be at the type of person who, who will just say, okay, I'm from Glendavon and I need, and, I'm, and I do conscious music, and I'm going to sit here and elaborate more and say, like, oh, like I, am, I am this nice guy, and those guys who we saw on the media as just bad guys. I personally believe that if a lot of these guys have more opportunities, not all, mm -hmm. because a lot of these guys as well who were born in good home, getting the, probably in better financial situation that, than I was. But of course, I chose music. But suppose there wasn't music. You know what I mean? I don't, yeah. I'm not sure where, the, where it would have brought me. So I just give thanks and praises to the Almighty. And... Um, 
Give thanks for um, not yeah. touching drugs, man. <laughs> yes, you know. And, you know, them say when foul go big, you can see it from its foot. From them foot. Me never hear so, that yet still, man. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm, when yeah. foul go big, when you, see, go big you, you see it from, from them, them foot. Oh, like, like a pit bull. You see, you see them foot big. You like can see them up. Yeah, because you can know, say, they might grow off your feet, them foot. Mm -hmm. So from a, liquid, from a tender age, I always have friends who are older than me. Mm -hmm. So I'm always drawn to the Rasta people, them who over the next yard I beat drum. And just elder friends in general. I always try to do part-time jobs while going to school. Because mama and dad didn't have it like that. So I went to fair day at one year and I realized that me and my two other brethren were rolling mm -hmm. together, powering as friends, as youths, children. And when the slow songs started to play, the Whitney Houston song and all these things, three girls our little peers, mm. female peers, walked over to us. And I was so excited because I thought that these three girls would have peer up with each of us. Yeah. But because I wasn't looking so 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 yes, hot, as they would say, I wasn't, up to par. I wasn't looking up to par. I wasn't wearing the Nike, I wasn't wearing the filler. Mm -hmm. I, got those times, it's filler, and that, and that Nike, kind of Adidas, and mm -hmm. these things. And... I wasn't looking because my friends used to get their barrels from overseas and you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. so forth every year. So I was just in my church clothes, you know. Yeah. At the fair day at school and I'm a church shoes probably. And um these three girls came over to three us three of us as boys and two of them started to dance with one of my friends and the other one danced with my other friend. Yeah, left out. <laughs> I felt left out. So at that time I realized that what is the poor thing, why them friend Freddie McGregor sing to be poor is a crime, man. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> because a, a heartbreak that, uh, I was so humiliated. I felt so bad. I told them that I soon come back. And I went to the bathroom and I cry. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> See, sure. I went to the bathroom and I cry. <laughs> and that's what one of the first time I realized that, okay, um, you know, you feel left out because you don't have a certain amount of vanity or some would say necessity well, or whatever however you want to have it as True. you know what i mean but it shows me that the mindset of of, of in, in general we you know a lot of people out there pass it on to their children that okay you don't need to mix with this person because you know mm -hmm. or it's just maybe it's a natural vibe for people I don't, i'm not sure i don't know I, i'm not the judge but i can tell you that boots me now to start to do some part-time jobs Yes, as soon as I got the you chance, need your Nike here, though. I need to put myself together. Not necessarily Nike, here, but I want to be able to put look up to par, so I don't look left out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I feel left out. So. Definitely, definitely. We know the feel. So you know that you. So your mindset from early say, okay, we not go teeth it, we not go rare, we not go really go over, we not go go over a friend yard and beg them a shirt, or tell them one borrow them shoes. Yeah. We know in ourselves say, we not go do that. Not saying it's a bad thing overall. But what I'm saying, we have that thing then ourselves that so we want to go and earn it. So I started to get my part-time job like working at the, 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 the places that make furniture. And I would sand down some of the furniture and mm. clean up the furniture shops and, you know what I mean, and get a little money. Yeah. On the weekends, I started to save that, started to work in bakeries, working at Woolworth, bookstore, you know. So these gradually work in supermarkets and start to bag, so bag the goods and... You know what I mean? So that's why every, most of the time when I go to a supermarket, whenever I do go to a supermarket, I'm mostly a, 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 a market person. But whenever I do go to the supermarket and get certain things that I need, items that I need, mm -hmm. I always try my best to tip the little guy. Yeah. Or the so little this was girl me once. You know. Who was, is packing my bag. You yeah. know what I mean? Or whoever walk with me with the grocery to my car, I always try to make sure that I give them a thing. Yeah. Because I remember how it felt when someone... I carry someone, pack someone bag and follow them to the car and they give me a little thing, you know. It really meant a lot and I could put that in my pocket and I think about all little tips I make and to save different from my pay, you know, I'm going to get in and so. Yeah, I can buy some lunch. Yes, and a lot of people think it is, it could be looked at in many different ways, but some people will go as far as say it's child abuse. Mm -hmm. It's child abuse if you're working the child do something that they can't manage. Yeah. But I think you're building discipline in the child when the child can manage and, you, and the child can learn how to go out there and do something. Because a lot of these 
millennials, mm-hmm. are, they, as they would say, some, not all. But a lot of his children in this era, you know, were born a little bit after me and you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably because I was still young, you know, but I mean, like, a little yeah. bit after me and you. Because me and you, you know, and other people say, why well, want to grow with children them better than how we did come. Sometimes so are the worst thing. We end up spoiling them. Right now, a lot of big old men can't wash dishes. Yeah. A lot of big grey back men and girls can't even wash their clothes. Yeah. You understand? Fox. Because while growing up, one of the time my mother started to get ill at one point. And um, she said, she called me and my little brother. And she said to us, Fritz and Oral, you need to start to wash your clothes, you know, because I don't feel so well. And we start to try, try, pala, pala with clothes until we can wash. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Life teachings from early stage, man. So, you know, do not break the back of the camel regards to talking about our children right now. But let them do things. Give them their chores. And if they want to do something, once it's not going to affect their studies and their education, let them do it because that what they're going to be doing, a little part-time job, is a part of the education that they will need in life. Definitely. You understand? Education don't stop at book and knowing how to calculate the maths alone and how to speak the proper English alone. But it also have a lot School to do with your mindset. And mindset, mindset and how to deal with pressure. Because these little part-time jobs that I got and these little things that I got, it let me know, even as an artist in a field, in a musical field, which is full up of so much corruption. I can't say that plain. Corruption. Full up of corruption and, and so much fight. Even when they're doing conscious music, if I hadn't, if I was, I didn't build the, build the heart of a lion, and know say, this is my purpose. Keep doing what you're doing. You don't have to, you know what I mean, be blah 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 like that guy or that guy. But just do you be yourself. and be yourself. And at the end of the day, if you keep doing what you love, the universe is with you, and the universe will give you what you deserve. Definitely. Yeah. And fast forward to like first time in a studio now and. What was that like? When you first in a studio and said, all right, I'm going to record a song. What yeah, the first time I went into a studio, I was going to, I started high school the time. And yeah, before I went into a studio, I started singing on as much stage shows as I, I could. Yeah, so you get the, that, was, that was the practice. Right. But when I started high school and, you know, still working, part-time jobs, and um, I said, you know what? I'm going to book some studio time. Mm. I save and I book some studio time and up by a studio called Crazy Dog yeah, in Montego Bay. Montego Bay. And that's before a lot of people know Crazy That's before Crazy Dog moved to in the town part of Montego Bay. They were over by a place called Rosemount where they're originally from. True. So I save, plan out, say I got Crazy Dog studio. You hear about the studio? Boom, man. Got Crazy Dog studio. Book me studio time and vice two songs. And to all my vice sound when we get it back on the CD bridging, me I say, Yo, ready. Me love this. This is a my thing, this. Yeah. I'm so, was so fascinated with all my sound and the record is like. So you remember that first song? I don't. You don't? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's crazy, I don't remember because, but you know, I, it was just a song that I really liked at the time, man. You know, because at the time I was just writing books of songs, mm-hmm. like suitcase of songs. Love it. I, I write, I write so much that even right now, if I go in the studio, mm. I can play a rhythm. I, I, I just naturally can just bring out a song that you would thought that I would maybe took, I, I've taken six months to write, mm-hmm. or maybe a week or whatever. But even World Peace, World Peace is a song that I penned in a couple of minutes. Trying man. I just go in the studio. Rhythm start playing. I just start singing till the end. And then I say, I'm ready now. And the engineer say, yo. I sang this. Yeah, I sang this. I say, I'm not ready. Double and, it. But I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Double. Everything does naturally happen. So when you love something and it's your thing, it's not something you're going to do because somebody said money in it. Mm. It, will, it is you. So it is natural. You know Definitely. what I mean? So a lot of people see me on stage sometimes and I say, yo, oh, you're just so energetic on stage. It's not just, it's I'm having fun. I'm feeling what I'm doing. It's, I'm passionate about what I'm doing. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So even can I hear f- it in your voice also. Yeah, even my first official job 
when I say official job, I mean like you get a job now where you start pay NIS. <laughs> Real job. That. If you understand now, you officially graduate from high school now and you have you have, you have certain paperwork and mm -hmm. get job and thing. Official. I was working at the Rich Carlton. Yeah, in Montego Bay. In Montego Bay at one point and I was making a good enough money because at the time I was making more money than my mother and father. Yeah. So basically that you would consider that good money, you know, your father and mother would be proud of you and say, yo, you know. Can nice. bring home some grocery for mama and Yeah, papa yeah and at least thing. can contribute, you know what I mean? Because, you know, the good thing about it, you know, I have a sense of responsibility in my head. You know what I mean? Because you see, as I'm saying, more use the term again, if fowl I go big, you see it from its foot. You see, any may I talk to you now, parents and children out there. You see, when your parents work hard and grow you and invest in you for reach a certain age and you get a job, it is very important for you to save. But don't forget this. It's very important as well. You know, if you can help mama and dada sometime, make sure you're saving as well, of course. But if you see mama and dada need little help with the light bill, don't just burn in light bill and not give mama a little thing to her and papa towards the light bill and just feel like say. Because when you tend to be of this type of way, you know, it carry on in the future and then you tend to be just someone who does always depending on someone else to carry a burden. You know what I mean? So when you reach an age now and you, you can budget out the thing, man, and try to help. But anyway, Most likely. yeah, man. So I was feeling very much proud and feel good to know that I could bring home some grocery because I'm going to eat of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was always eating. From the table, of course, you know what I mean? As much as from early age, me I work, but me feel good now me I'm an official job and <laughs> see me? Me yeah. can't say, Mama and Dada, all this towards the light be like. I know, I know I also. So even when I was leaving the job now, right, rich. because I won a scholarship in singing and writing mm -hmm. in 2002, before I started to work at the Rich Carlton. Yeah. But because the music was so tough in Montego Bay, you know, you know, music was moving so fast and so forth. And, and I like, no. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? So we didn't have the Instagram and Social we didn't have certain around. things. And Facebook wasn't that popular either. It was, was in our own right, in 2002. Right. You understand what I mean? So My speed. A lot of things. Yes. If one thing, yeah. So what happened now? When I decided to leave my job at the Rich Carlton, my mother and father was like, what's up with you? You're crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, a good little job you can save and try if you want to even a house or mm. get certain things, get yourself together because it's not like, you know, it, life is tough, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's rough out there. But I had in my mind that music is my calling and the Almighty has called me for the music. So I left my job and came to Kingston. Where did you go when you got to Kingston? Well, I, the first place I, I went, you know, came when I came to Kingston was in Portmore. Yeah. I don't remember exactly where in Portmore, but <laughs> it's a bridge in named Boom Blacks. In named Boom Blacks now. Boom a, a selector. Yeah. But Boom Blacks used to talk to my sister. Yeah. In Montego Bay. Because Boom Blacks Boom Black Boom Blacks father used to help to manage do, used to do a managerial work or supervising work in Montego Bay. Um in um what's the store that sells things bashko bashko yeah bashko so i guess that's when raymond came with his father and something in bashko and met my sister i would imagine so raymond started to come over my house and thing mm -hmm. and we met raymond so at one point raymond is back in kingston in in, in uh, back in portmore so we just got link raymond one day and come and say more boss because raymond used to start give me some vice training no one really know boom blacks as a singer but Boombox can boom blacks can sing. Yeah. You know, for those who they who know who is boom, boom blacks. blacks. But maybe that, Pick that up time, yourself, boom blacks. Yeah, he was a Rayman at the time. Yeah. And so I came by Rayman House here in Portmore. And um I was sleeping on the couch for a bit, you know, and he, he tried my best to introduce me to a few people's uh, people and thing, but it didn't get wasn't working out fast as how I wanted it. To work out anyway, it was just a tough time, and he's sleeping in the couch. And I would imagine his family was uncomfortable because you know, normally people can walk through them house at night time freely, but <laughs> and on a Raymond house at the time, it, mm -hmm. which is boom blocks now, selector. But that brother believed in me, and him, him, you know, him doing best and things. So I believe and go back and move and they and say, At one point, now I'm getting a job at Rich Carlton, as I say, and when I leave Rich Carlton, I say, You are. Told me I go now. I mean, I'm me not coming back until, until my, my boss. Yeah. 
So I have a brethren named named Oba Simba. Him named Oba Simba now. Great personality as well. And me and them man used to practice guitar because he used to work with Fuse Photoshop in Montego Bay. Yeah. So, so all your links them here link up in uh, the town. Alright. So my brethren now named Oba Simba now. He left him work now and he start lax officially because I go to school one at the time. I mean know him from school days. So me I go to school I used to pat down my ear and a stocking cap. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to trim. You understand what I say? But long story short, I may not get work at Ritz Carlton, so you know, trimming off the official go on and everything. <laughs> and thing. But anyway, Oba Simba pushed out and gone to Kingston, left Fuse, Photoshop, and a pursuing thing in the music. And, but at one point before, Oba Simba carried me to town. And the first time I did come to town, back then, he must show me all the pum pum rock. Yeah. When I passed thing. before Bagua. Flat Bridge, yeah, and thing. And I said, yeah, what a journey. And we read. But, when we decide to come back to town now, anyway, I link up Oba Simba and say, Yo, I come to town, you know. Well, man, come to town and it was rough again because Oba Simba at the time didn't have his place, own place, so I really mad at yard. And by the time I reached the day, and Oba Simba said, Yo, what? Yeah, man, you reach it, man. I love that. Yo, what now? You are going to end up sleep up on my bridging yard, up the road. Yeah. And thing. So, anyway, you know, I end up. I sleep up at the, about the first or second night, two nights I sleep at the bridge in the yard up the road. But the, up the road was like one right beside a main road. Mm -hmm. And I board house there, so right there, so right beside a main road. And it come like every car pass, or every truck pass, it feel like it's going to run into the, the house. And I just feel like the house is shaking. And I say, John Wayne you know, was say, yeah, the harder they come. And I remember <laughs> Jimmy Cliff and the world. <laughs> I said, yeah. I'm fight for it, you know. But because of boom, I'm, I'm a bridge in number in our phone. At them time, I care about two pounds of herb in one suitcase. You know, I tell myself, you know, I could have even sell herb you know, and go and survive. You know. I don't go back to the country so I tell you something. Man. Yeah, and you bring the best from West. You know what I mean? So I call my bridging now. One name is Singy Singy. That's the original Singy Singy before Tyrus Riley. AKA Vincent March, his name. Because he's a man who used to, in history tells that he used to carry on. Wally Pa artist who a big artist now on his bike. Yeah. You know, but anyway, I met him in Man Man to be area. And me know he's a Kingston man. So boom, I'm a call him man. He mother tell me say, yo, when you see me I'm a be a singing man, I say, yo, I told you for the artist. If I did I told you a boss long time, you know. Yeah, that the man is a That the man always say I'm used to work with a man named Jojo who have some poker box yeah. all over Jamaica. And thing that a channel one them people them want to open poker box and thing. So he used to travel all over the place. I saw him end up at Mobile more time and he meet me through a friend and he must say, Youth, you can't sing a town every day. So I did a town and I call him. Because I said, I need to live in a place where they chuck them sound like they're going to jump in the, drop in the house. <laughs> call the bridge and I tell him, I have some kind of love herb, you know. That yeah. bridge I'm going to tell you about now, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Vincent Real, March, Real you know, singing, singing, you know. Them man, they love herb, love herb, gone to bed yeah. and I wake up back with herb. <laughs> so I yeah. call him and tell him, say, Yo, First, I go say this because I him love herb, you know. So, me in my mind, I say, I call him and tell him I have some herb. Yeah. <laughs> and thing. So, I say, Yo, I have some herb, you know. And I did a spot and, you know, say, I want to sell them herb and thing and ray, ray, ray. And plus, I want a place to stay, you know. And I say, Why am I not a place to stay? Put me in a boat. Link up. Because herb is there. Yes. <laughs> so, I go, So, boom, I say, Meet me at three miles. I say, Where three miles? Eh? <laughs> That's a country, man. <laughs> But, but before we go there, but anyway, I link up with Singy Singy, a.k.a. Vincent March, and walk up and down on Olympic way, I try to find a place to sleep. Even a man who have an old car in the front of the yard, we say, yo, make, make the artist, even the old car, make, make the artist sleep. Gotcha. The man said, no, it's all right, no, right, right, right. No, no, nah, make it We done. got through it. It was a rough evening, and yeah. we end up sleeping on some people for and the people them wake up and see me. So, I may explain myself and tell them, say, I'm a singer and I'm a where I come from, and they don't know I look, I come and look at that town and them say, yo, all right, the people I couldn't make it. Now watch nothing out. Rare, 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 rare. I'm just shuffle sure. up myself and wash my face at the, at the pipe out the door and take on Try the that. journey again. And with the, with the herb and my brother just a smoke down the herb, a smoke down the <laughs> herb. <laughs> Much of the business. But he might try doing it, I'm doing best because even though he carry me to a whole heap of uh, uh, ones, he carry me to even King Jammies. Yeah. And when King Jam is here, me King Jam is saying, no, sir, don't move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that in, if that day when King, King Jam is meet me now, we can't it really started that day because King Jam is end up now start giving me a thing every month, every, every two weeks. And things. So I'm end up 
get a little place in a Cockburn pen and you know that's where it all started. But before that, big respect to a man named Anthony Red Rose. Yeah. Anthony Red Rose is a man who great singer. Bad singer too. Great producer. And what before all know? of this, at one point, Anthony, and, and, and I used to come to Kingston. I used to just call Anthony Red Rose and say, Anthony Red Rose, you know, me and me, we come to Kingston. And they say, We are rich. And I say, I reach a flat bridge. Them time, them can't tell me if it's not bad, you know, because I'm done near already. Yeah, no, I call him from here. So let me tell you, we're near three mile and thing. When I tell him, Anthony Red Rose, I said, John, you have to call me before you forward, you know. But through me, when I myself say, it's like it's a good heart, brother, you know. So him now, him now left me a road, never left me a road. So even when I tell him reach and he must reach a town and he must say, yo, all right, where are they? I'm say three miles. I say, all right, take it and come up and taste the halfway tree. I say, when you am tasty? <laughs> so you know, I'm never, we are real cut. I don't know what Yeah. So anyway, I find tasty and he pick me up by the clock and bam, 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 and he carry me and mix in the lab and trust me, he taught ones. me a lot in the studio as well, just as how King Jamis taught, taught me a lot and thing, you know. So between these people, you know, these great people I met and, you know, they give me good encouragement. Show me a lot of love and respect. You know, none of them never really, you know, show me some sideway, you know what I mean? But it's all about it was a nurturing and a growth for I and I, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, we give thanks. So, they said start, my friend. Right, you know, right. Struggles. Start through all of the struggles, them in our music. Because enough yeah. ones, it's like you need that. Is, you need it. Because sometimes you have it too easy. Because some ones will get a manager from early or before they even have the drive. And I spend money, so it's like you know them mind them bus, and them have a vehicle, yeah. them clean every day. Yeah, I just say go. Apartment. You see, everyone and it's like them complacent when it come to the, the the work. Yeah, but as I said before, everyone life different. Mm -hmm. You know, we give thanks for the youth, and give thanks to the person who see the youth, are youth talent, and us invest in the youth talent, and I make him have to go through certain struggles. True indeed. You know what I mean? Because you know need for have to go through certain things to do right. True indeed. Because whole of people out there do the wrong, and they might get so much support. You know what I mean? So we out there will say we are good people and, and we have all these resources can help a youth. No make the youth have to go through certain abuse. You know what I mean? So we everyone think come different. But make sure so whenever you choose music, make sure I love you, love it. Because if you don't love music, trust me, it's going to be tougher than how it's tough already. You yes. know what I mean? So at the time there, you know, we not, we, we sang them to start playing on the radio like that yet, you know. Yeah. Officially, you know, like song when we write. Yes, song play up on the radio before. By a produced by a version named CJ that do tattoo in a man to go be a big respect to CJ. And I'm a uniform them man they see me. Alan Lewin introduced him to me and invites a song and that was the first time I sang play on the radio while going to school. Mm -hmm. But that was a song that I sing over. A song that I say, There's the southern word that I could say to make you come home. Yeah. Yeah, Seems so long ago you walked away and left me alone. Well, there's something I said to make you turn away, make you walk down and leave me cold. That song there. Yeah. Somebody sing that at the first time here on the radio and ran my shed plate. I mean, I said, yo, boss. But they don't know me never boss. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was a, I at the first so I love that I give thanks to that cause. You have to really give respect to these ones, you know. And the beginning. Who, who give you that encouragement that make you know your song can play upon a song where you sing can play on the radio. It wasn't the original, but you know, the original thing never start yet. Till we come at town, even when we do around jammies, it never really kick off yet. So what was this and first song that gave you that notoriety now? Right. Get you that. That's push. where I want to go. So King Jamis was the person who I would say. So the first time I sang a play on the radio was produced by CJ Kilano, mm -hmm. that does tattoo in Montego Bay. And he's an artist as well, very good artist, you know, artist that people need to check out. Then? Yes, very uh, good person. So then now, come to town, blah, 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 long story short, King Jam is now, was like the college. Because you're there, King Jam is now, King Jam is, you're there on there, you're excited to sing. And King Jam is just a chew the rhythm, so. I want to grow me, you know, so. The era what me did love and I grew up in a like the cocoa tea type of music and you know what I mean reggae real roots are right. roots are the roots part of dance all in. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? So Jamie's good about some woman. I'll maybe I'll ten songs for the day. Me sing. Mm. And which later date me end up having fix up some still. You understand? No, because, I, but at the time, you know, love it, you know. At the time, you know, I'm ready, you know. 
but the truth me grow so much now and me become such a me grow in my vocals and all these things now you don't know say we end up having to sing over back some of the songs them and freshen them up and everything but mm -hmm. that was the college man because when Jamie said no man sing it so I'm going to say boom man sing it so so looking back I realize you know big respect to Mr. Lloyd James yeah. you do a great job with Nature Ellis and then now every weekend or every two weeks we used to go by the office sign a little thing and collect a little thing so I could go buy some little grocery and put in a little one room and rent on a Catburn pen at the time. Yeah. You see me as a bridging? So them thing there, we realize now that was a grooming. Me never me think me did it ready, but me never really did it ready. Cause John never says so. Yeah. Cause I realize everything in life now, you know. I realize so everything in life comes with seasons and there's a time and a place for everything. So that was my college really. And thing. But until I met the man called Ricardo Bibi Gardner. Yeah. Baller. Why? That man is more than just a baller, you know. Produce that man is a humanitarian, you know. Straight up. You have only the ones around here where a lot of people just have them for just what they primarily known for. But I see Ricardo Bibi Gardner as a real, like a humanitarian. You know what I mean? Someone who, you know, who will see a youth. And try with a youth. Groom life. Yes, man, because when Ricardo, when I met Ricardo Gardner, you know, and Ricardo Gardner here, me, you know, I say, I say, yo, yeah, man, the youth, you remind me of Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, a real talk. You and because yes, I went and sing at a treat that he was keeping. See, it was a treat he was keeping. The East. Out the East, and the out the East, the football field, Harborview Stadium, and I went there and and I did and sang there and you know, through a few friends. Um, who, who, who motivated that to happen mm -hmm. and and he saw me and he was like yo now say a word and the thing link up and Bridget, that man they changed my life because to how I was living him goes so boom one in a couple of weeks time the man goes so boom and him straighten out certain things yeah I could have lived like a more person or somebody supposed to Live, you know what I mean? You're like a real artist. As an artist, yeah, man. Him, him give me that thing that make me realize, say, yeah, what? Life out there can't live, man. That's the first person who give me the chance to even fly. Yeah. To see another part of the world. And that's the first person now who got up and officially showed two videos that were shown on the TV consistently and songs playing on the radio consistently. That was which video <laughs> and which song? A song said, Why are you wasting your time? Searching for love when I am right here to give you all the love you need. Where are you wasting your time searching for love? Yeah, and another song called Go for what you believe in. And long story short, to say, Hold on, hold on. The battle must be won. Hold on, hold on. Yes. My people, yeah. So they're searching yes. for love there. A lot of people, you already know, mm. thought it was who? A lot of people thought it was Jacquier. Jacquier. Even right. me, myself, at that yes. time. At that time, thought I it thought was, it was Jacquier. Jacquier. Yes, that is true. When I tell you, said the, the similarity was yes was there at the time. I mean, at, the, at the time, because I know Jackie have a more coarse device. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, Jackie is a very great singer. Talent. You understand? Because a lot of people compare me in between a Jackie and a Garnet Silk. I think that's where I am mm -hmm. with a mixture like a Dennis Brown and and Berries. Yeah. I am nature. nature, so I guess I provide all the voices. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But I have my unique sound. Definitely. You understand can't, it? Can't I, pick you out of the lot. No. Yeah, because even Jackie himself know that we don't sound exactly alike, you know, because he have a song that say is unmistakable sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that alone tell us that Cure no same of a voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what me do, you know? Because I realize that I have a similarity to Jackie, you know. What I do, I, ta I tend to show a lot of some things, I show my vocal ability. In certain ways to try to differentiate it, because maybe it's a Western sound, you know, right? He's from Be, yeah, it's a Western sound. Hanover. Yeah, it is a Western because if you listen to even White Mice, mm -hmm. White Mice and Dracula have a similar sound of White Mice. Definitely. You understand? If you, I mean, White Mice adult voice. 
You understand? Because when you listen to Jaja Give Me True Love, that was a kid voice. Mm -hmm. But when you listen to White Mice, you realize that, no, you realize that Jack Ewer sound like White Mice in some sense. It's just a sound. You know what I mean? But what I do, but what I tend to do is do some things that it's just my thing that doesn't match with a Jack Ewer thing. Like I would say in, in World Peace, mm -hmm. I would say, Yeah. Jack, you heard, don't make them sound there. Yeah. So, when you come in the business and realize that, you know that, I have a similarity, not the same to a person. You need to be creative now and find your own niche. Find your own slurs. Find your own, right. Because thing when Jack, you was just coming, you know, coming in the business, you know, he was a sound more like, um, what the guy, the virgin that sing, um, what's his name, um, right there, man. Well, Jack, you used to have a, a name. Little melody, quote the melody. Quote the melody. You notice how Jack Ewer take him slur them and certain things. But a lot of artists have similarities, you know. But when Definitely. you really take a listen good, you realize, eh, no man no just come round here with everything sounding like. Some might try to do that. Yeah, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, yeah, some people are just come round here and them just unique and sound like nobody, you know. Yes, because Definitely. you have Buju Bantan, but you have Buru Bantan before him. Yeah. What have the course yeah. vice there? Terra Fabulous. Terra Fabulous as well. So. At the end of the day, is you have, for example, you have my um, you have Luciano, but there was a Frankie Paul. Frankie Paul, yeah. As well, you know, if a similar note, similar sound. You have Garnet Silk, you have a Terry Linen. Terry Linen. You understand? You have Rashila. You have a Nature Ellis. You understand? It goes on and but on. But is the important thing is the message within the music, especially when you are Rasta. Mm -hmm. When you are Rasta. Artist, it shouldn't be about oh, the boy they try to sound like me, oh, the boy they try to follow me. It should have been about yo, embrace the brother and say, Yes, we need more help around here. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? I say, because at the end of the day, Rasta is not about dividing, Rasta is about we need more people to spread the message. So, True. any Rasta man, we see out there talk about oh, the boy they try to sound like me, man, a Rasta, my pastor. You understand? I mean, you can't sound like me, but the way how you do it, if you do it in a disrespectful way, so where you want to um, place where Jackie yeah. were. Never been or him can't go. You don't touch one of him song them for the people? Of course, because I only karaoke music to sing Jack Your song. Yeah. It's not it's still I, I sound like when some pe people can compare me with Jack Your or Garner Silk, you know. It's a compliment, it's you a know. Compliment, but yeah. but it's very important to I to make sure that I still have a unique sound. Stand out for yourself. Yes, because for example, the first time I heard the artist Lucky Dube. Yeah. I thought it was Peter Touch. Yeah. You know Lucky Dube? Are you talking about him? All right. No ones out there, if you never heard about Lucky Dube, check out Lucky Dube and you'll be amazed to see the similarity between a Lucky Dube and a Peter Touch. But when you start to listen to them more and more, you will realize that, oh, there is a difference. But because that's how the ears operate, you know. You hear something and it sounds similar for a while, but after you listen to the two persons over and over, you start in to realize a, the in difference. In every genre, you have people with. Dance all you have it. Right. You when that? I just Hip hear hop. when I just hear um the, the a rapper from Canada, yeah. Drake. Drake. Before I knew him, because you know Lico Wayne was before him. Mm -hmm. So when I heard Drake. Drake for the first time, I thought it was Lico Wayne. Lico Wayne. I don't know, but no we can hear the difference. We don't know why me think so. The, I think of the flow. The flow probably, the flow probably flow. are, you know. It's just back in it, you know, the rapper them rap me, yeah. back in, and it just ain't just sound sound alike to me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as me I say, we as Rasta, our people are embrace, not even just Rasta, we say we are, we are about unity and love. It shouldn't be about, yes, if a person sounds similar to you, you should have more of a draw that person in here and show them the love there and say yes, and try to even help him create a sound for himself. True. Because you see, when you talk about Dennis Brown, that's why Dennis Brown, is an artist, artist. Yeah. I hadn't met him in person because you know he passed on before a certain met meeting. But I want to tell you what I found out about Dennis Brown, for example, when Richard Stephen was just coming in the business, before he even actually was officially in the business, Richard Stephen was introduced, and Richard Stephen, what um, Dennis Brown. Heard Richie Steven, which Richie Steven sounded a lot like Dennis Brown at the time. And instead of saying, You, you try to sound like me and push him aside, him call Richie Steven mm -hmm. on a stage and tell the people, him, say, Listen to you, yeah. 
Yeah. And that was when I reached Stephen Biggest highlight. That's what he said in his interview. So we need back that love there. You know the business Everybody right now. know is about the hype and who bigger than who competition. When it should be about let us come together and make this world a better place. Because if this this not, not what you're doing, come on, might as well let us go and be a pagan mm -hmm. and let the world know you're a pagan. Because it's a unity thing right now. And we need unity more than ever right now. Because Are you sing world peace you know? and a song like that at this moment. Supposed to resurrect. Right now, with what's going on in, in um, the world today, yes. Russia and, you understand? Yeah. Ukraine. And you sing a song like World Peace. That song is supposed to play on the radio every single yeah, day right now. Because that's one of your the, the, most powerful Yeah, it's songs. playing, but it should have been playing much more. You know what I mean? I just, I think we feed too much on negativity. You yeah. know, because if, you're, if a man hears it right now, Nature Ellis and Jizzy. Yeah. War, in a war, and. One box down, one one chop, one and ray, ray, ray. Me I tell you, say, for your peace, the whole man. place, everybody <laughs> want to talk about it. Everyone want to True. So if you fight us. right now, we go viral enough, right? Right, on camera, right, right now, yeah. I'm saying we to talk conscious to the world and yeah. still can go viral. Right, enough. because but guess if what? If we ever fight. And especially if you're doing good music and then something, you do something that is against the norm mm -hmm. of a supposed to be, should be a conscious person, they run with that a lot. So if you get up right now and save, like, you save a child mm -hmm. from dying, it doesn't necessarily must make them meet the news. Yeah. But if, um, unfortunately, something accidentally happened, I would want to say that. I would want to put it that way. Yeah, yeah. And it happened and, it's, and it seems a bit off on your side. Mm -hmm. It's like the media eat it up. Yeah, and man. that's what they want to promote. And that is a problem. I got an award for my album the other day. Number one on iTunes, top 100. The Revolution Chess Revolution. album. Revolution. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank, thank, thank the ones who put it in the paper. Yeah. But when I was searching, when I bought the paper, when I found that I was in the paper, I will not call it the name of the paper. Yeah. And, you know, papers are printed worldwide. So, no one special. Yeah, <laughs> just in general. Newspaper. I'll just generally say, there is this newspaper. When I searched the newspaper and I found out that it was the article was in the newspaper about I getting a no, that album Revolution Choice went number one on iTunes top 100, and I got a plaque and support. When I searched the newspaper, I was skipping through. First thing on the front of the page was something about some mix-up mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with consciousness, had nothing to do with uplifting the youths, had nothing to do with making the future generation better. And that was on the front of the page. And I skipped again and there was another source similar to that. Mm -hmm. And continue. You know how far I was? I went to find my part of the article. The article that I was in. Past the, almost past the comic. <laughs> yes, almost at the 18, back of the paper. 19. So I'm wondering if because I'm not in a certain type of link or clique you know, or, you know, or a certain a, circle. You know, I want to keep. You know, you know, you know, on a Spider Man, this? Per se, as yeah, metaphorically speaking. So, that is a problem with, with, with what's going on in society. You know, a lot of people tend to. Uh, people don't see you for your talent anymore, they see you for the hype. Yeah. So, you might drive up right now, and I, I'm in a Corolla, but because it's not a Benz, a guy might say, yo, you might not a big artist. <laughs> yeah. But when you're the guy in the Benz, touch stage, the guy in the Benz can't hold a note. Yeah, can't perform like but the because one in the him, him, him walk in with 100 man and him walk in and him drive a Benz. So a person judging by a Benz, I'll be under the music by the Benz. Yeah. You understand me? I say, so but am my music by my Honda or by my Benz as well. But you look at as somebody else because, yo, them type of people around you or them type of people in your par or because your name I call up in a whole heap of mix up. So it's like, we want to see him. People want to see the mix up guy. Yeah. <laughs> people don't want to see, people don't want the. Conscious. People don't seek for holiness anymore. Consciousness. People want to seek for controversy. Controversy instead of consciousness. Yeah, controversy sells them saying. But that's okay. We're doing our thing. You can you have to do what you do. Because when all said and done, you know, you left your message. Got to be true to yourself. Yeah, man. One of the Marley did that song. Got to be true to myself. Mm. Got to be true. Yeah, you have to be true to yourself. 
Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, man. So you can tell me about the places that you, that, that music brought you throughout the world. Well, um, a lot of places in Europe. So like you know, the Italy, the France, the Belgium, the Germany, Austria. The, you know, just to name a few of these European yeah. countries and like US, you know, quite a number of states. And um, um light. It got, and um, quite a number of states in the US and um, other continents like um, Australia. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of times when people say Australia, some people mix it up with Austria. Austria is in Europe. Yeah, Australia but is Australia down under. Is like, yeah, it took me, and yeah, it took me three days to reach. Three days <laughs> so in all plane. The, all the fly got to Australia. Like, where do you stop? And a part of Australia. Well, I can imagine you have, based on what I'm going to explain now, I can imagine there would be, be easier ways to get there, probably are less. But when I was going to Australia, the connected flight took me from here in Jamaica to England. And, I, from Eng and that already is a long flight. <laughs> so the then England. from England to Dubai. Yeah. Then from Dubai to Australia. Be far, far. It's three man. days and just flying, 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 flying. Flying. <laughs> Tired of playing. <laughs> but it's not that to put type of work here. here, here. You know, you know, yeah. So you have to just accept yeah, man. that. I've been to Brazil as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which song them love here in Brazil? I'd like to know that. Them love every song. Yeah. Them and just them love reggae speak music. English, eh? them lo well, if a lot of these people speak English. That's because not them. A lot of them. Because, you know. Them, uh, yeah, they don't really, but to be honest, most of the places in the world, they make sure that these, their children learn English. Learn English. So no matter what you speak, you speak Spanish, but you got to learn English. You, don't have speak, you speak French, but you got to learn English. You know what I mean? So I might be in Europe, like most of the Europeans I met, yeah. <laughs> they are able to speak English. Hey, they me. might not do it fluently as we would, but they can have a conversation that is very, very good. Throughout your musical career, Perfect. any, like, what I say, regrets? Decisions that you made in the past where I say, yo, I wish me never make that decision. The only, I like to say I have no regrets, but the only choice mm -hmm. I would have made, probably from, a, because I have a label now. Yeah. And I and I and I I um I would have have my own label from longer time. Even when I'm working with other companies, I would have made the choice of having my own label from earlier mm -hmm. and learning more about the business from earlier. You know what I mean? Experiment with myself more from earlier. You know what I mean? Because I put out my first album in 2020, mm -hmm. um, titled Awaken. But so wait, 2020, your first album. My first album, and it's been doing since like still, oh, still doing three, great. Four. No, that was not my first album. Oh. My first album, I think, was in in 2016, 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Life's Journey album. Yeah. But my first album, I, I produced. To produce. My okay. the, so my second album, basically, okay. I produced my second album, which is Awaken. Produce all and, the and, tracks. And, no, not all the tracks, but half the amount of tracks on it. But I produce overall. Exclusive. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, for some of the tracks. And then I incorporate it with some tracks that other people produce. And I get the rights to produce the whole album. and, and thing. So what happened now, I learned so much just by creating my own label, Preserve Nature Entertainment. So even Nature now, Entertainment. Right. And, 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 and um, the album is doing well. Number and one, no, not that one. Odd. But it was last year now. I put out another album produced by Ambassador of Choice Records. Very great label, very great people. And that num that album went number one on the top on the iTunes top one hundred. But, it, but, on but that. the experiment with my album and my label Awaken helped a lot in making the new album Revolution Choice along with the company, which is such a great company. Very great CEO, big respect so to yeah, yeah, Father Chais. The brand. Yes, because sometimes when you as an artist understand 
more about the business, you will know how to collaborate better so, with a company. So having a label, you have any artists, you produce any songs with other artists? As yeah, you? I produce songs with, for example, a few people. I have some other people that I won't mention as yet, but I have like Lash LaRue, David Luther King. There's a few of my friends first because them say dance a yard before you dance abroad. So I took the time out, produce a few friends that I have around me yeah. before I run out because I have a lot of artists who are willing and I have a few artists, big artists that my voice already, but I don't really like let out things before the time. Yeah, make surprise. <laughs> and I also write songs for a lot of major artists. Yeah. So it means that I'm a ghostwriter as well. Yeah. So these things me tell make sure me tell them say me don't want nobody to know about say me. Don't put that in an interview. Yeah, not put me, say that, me right it. You all keep it up. Yeah, I mean uh, yeah. Keep it. Yeah. But if certain people check certain details they will know about them. Enough ones without and one. everybody know me right here. Yeah. And everybody know where me put my thing them and how I set my thing them. So, so but you're, you're I write right. for people as well. So when you're writing for somebody now. Like it's only say conscious music, are you the right for it? All right, conscious. Con, man all right, a lot of people don't understand. The word conscious is a broad word, you know. Mm -hmm. It depends on where and how you use it. Because, for example, uh, Bounty Killer song. Mm -hmm. Anytime hungry again, I'm going to see me nine. Mm -hmm. It is a conscious song. Him does a use himself because as a person, if you explain what another person. He's going through. Anytime. And he never tell us, hey, how does get up and rare. He might tell us how circumstances can be. Just like when I watch a Denzel Washington movie, and he might show you Ray, 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 and you understand? Mm -hmm. But so, and we have a Bushman song, I say, rinsing shot in her, no need to ball, no. gangster, no see. A gangster, he might talk about, you know, he may never say, he's a gangster. True. He might tell us, hey, gangster, no see, no let. So, we we write, we, we, we can write all type of ways. Definitely. But we just know, Right the way how the typical nowadays you to write a certain type of song. Because my song, if I mention a gun in night or I mention certain things in night, I have an explanation how the gun they come in. Yeah, and are you it, a boss it up per se? Yeah, I mean, I'm glorified neither. Yeah. I just show you a scenario. Never did have a, a gangster song one at a time. Remember a gangster song from you, you know? You know a gangster song. Old. It's an anti gun song. It's like say, Instead of boss a 9mm, uh, yeah. grab a senorita. But so, ha, you know yeah, what I mean? I, say? I, so, I am a versatile artist. Mm -hmm. And I mean, say, I mean, say, look, look up Emancipation Park. I uh, see a statue of a man and a woman, him and a lyrics are off. Uh, yeah, man. So, and I mean, say, I just want to love you. You just want to love me. No, people know. So, a lot of time I go up and show them, I'm a sing that song. I'm like, what? I'm thinking of the Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think I did do no more sing that song there, but no, it's Nature Ellis. Nature Ellis. You understand what I say? So I have this, I am versatile. versatile. That's why versatile. I'm nature. That's why I am Nature Ellis. Yes. Because definitely. you can hire me for your wedding, and I can make the whole place full of goosebumps at your wedding. Yes. I thought sometime alone. Yeah, we can do this something then. Girl, I'm a scream. Yeah, man. Fanta. First, <laughs> first time I look into your eyes. But I'll be something then, man. Uh, so, so we verse it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get married. Link up. Yeah, man, I will it away the material, you know. Link up, nature. Yeah, man, I will it away the man. You know what I mean? But we are some youth where we just do the work, and we're willing to do the work on a even on a more frequent level and a more. You know what I mean? But people can more visibly see it because yeah. sometimes we are do a lot of work, you know, but we just not depend on a certain platform. Definitely. If you see it, you know, if it's where certain people can see it, and you know what I mean? Sometimes, maybe sometimes we fool away, we have certain type of pride, um, f and not foolish pride, but we have, we're not going to do certain things for getting a certain type of light. Yeah, true. You understand what I mean? But, but the greatest thing, the Almighty God. You work till the light shine on you. Yes, you and, know, and, and, and it's the shining light. because you see, once you can wake up and your bills can pay, your children them go to school, and, them, and the man over there, so. Child know if you letters of alphabet and yours know if you do it too. Yeah. Your so man over there's a child. Children. How yeah. Many, how the, many children? The, I have four. Four four oh, daughters. Four beautiful daughters. Four Great. daughters. They are so yeah, so four genius. Yeah. yeah. Girl dad. Yeah. Girl dad. Yeah, know? man. So at the end of the day, when you wake up and your children have food on their table, mm -hmm. you have food on your table. 
And I'm not saying times are not. We, we all have times that fluctuates, yeah? Definitely. But when you can wake up and you're not worse than anybody, your music can put food on the table, pay bills, and you can build a house out of music. Mm -hmm. You can buy a car out of music. If someone needs help, can help half you. the time you can help another, you're doing good. Definitely. You know what I mean? And, and, and mommy and, and daddy proud. Yes, because my mother and father walk with them head high, you know. Them yeah. not for wonder say when a man say, Yo, me hear your, your son sang, you know. Them not for wonder what kind of song. Yeah. Them know say I can't just music. So they not for feel shame and I say, One of them people I think I saw me grow him. You know, them, yeah, them yeah. all feel nice because they know say, Nature is, yeah, man. Them and they have got good song, them good, sing. Good man, <laughs> them and the good song, them and, sing straight. And that is the thing about it. When I got the plaque the other day, you know, mm. when Revolution tries to the pose of the most high and ambassador of choice records, big respect. You have any clippings of collecting a plaque there or anything? Yeah man, I have, so I, 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 I have photo and, and, and video with the plaque and, and, and so forth. Definitely. Yeah, they're man. on the screen right now. So you go? Yeah, yeah man. They're on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah man. So, what happened, um, I feel good in myself. Because a lot of people collect accolades and... But it was because I'm seeing some song where I mislead a generation mm -hmm. or I mislead some people. And him know too. Yeah. <laughs> and she know too. <laughs> he and she know. And them feel nice. I call it them black. I feel good in myself to know that I sing songs such as freedom. Free the dumb. Freedom. Free the dumb. So that they can speak. Yeah. And the color with Luciana say, We got the strength and the power to just be the glory. Songs like those songs gave me the plaque. I feel good in myself because I know I can't sleep and I'm be nice tonight and tomorrow I know say, you know, so some song we sing when never really you never mislead nobody or some song we can live with. Yeah. And my children them can come and listen to it and know say daddy do that and I you know six months nothing. Yeah. Look how long a good look how I'm in the world peace you know. And look how long that you know see may you pass some station and lift it up again I all over the world. Because songs like that can never die. We all need peace. True equal rights and justice. Mm -hmm. Don't it? We all need peace of mind. Yeah. World peace. And I go search for that song that you know. Yeah man. And yeah, yeah, man. Music that was right? a good song which was produced by um by Downsound Records. Yeah. You know, we, we did some great job works, you know. You know what I mean? So big respect to all the companies that I worked with before. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day is unity is strength. You know what I mean? And I and I is a rasta. And I as a man, I as a man who I listen to Buddha, me, me listen to every type of to religion, all type of different religion and different beliefs, and it all comes back to all, all of us should be striving towards living together in unity. So we came together at that point and we did some great songs. So big respect to Downsound Records for that, you know, for that collaborat collaborative effort between yeah. Nature Ellis and, and you guys. You know what I mean? So. And with this, yes or no, uh, Ambassador of Chai's Records, we're doing some great works, and which even got me a plaque. Mm -hmm. So it's a growing process. So we can't talk about where we're there and talk about where we are come from. That's why we mentioned big up King Jammies, big up to Ricardo Gardner. You know what I mean? We'll push big you up out there big up. as well. But yeah, we're not left out no one region. A because a, a lot talk. of people go on platforms and them tend to try to talk about all the bad things. What about the good things? Mm -hmm. So all these people that they work with is only bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you check it out, it, it's not necessarily bad. It's just a thing about we as humans sometimes. Mm -hmm. We are all going through a phase. We are all going through this journey of life. And what we tend to do, me and Jeezy used to see each other more often, right? Definitely. You remember when I remember say we are linked from when Egyptian just a bus in a wall with the runner Wang. Wang studio. Wang there, studio man. and them thing there. We yeah. all have a devil breath. And when you check it out now, we used to see each other more and talk and reason, but time come when you over there, I'm over there. So that doesn't mean, mm. say, it's just a journey. Not, not change. It's important for one to understand that we can all see things from a different angle. We can move on, but we all can just have some form of respect. Definitely, you know man. What I mean? Humanity. For good time's sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in man. the sense of war. Yeah, man. These I, times like these. Them things they're bridging, I am not about that. Yeah. I am about thinking about all the good that people have done. So for and artists yeah. out there, for calling a name in a way where you know, like, how would you approach that situation? Would you just ignore? It, it depends, you know, but, but I can tell you, um, people try to draw me out. Mm. 
on several occasions and I don't even follow them. Yeah. Because they take two to make a quarrel, you know. Yeah. And honestly, the, the real person in me, I'm not saying I'm not a person who get ignorant sometimes, you know. Yeah. But I'm not perfect. Yeah. We are I'm working towards being better every day. But I am the type of person who at heart I don't like confrontation and disrespect. So you don't really want to disrespect nature, Ellis. Yeah, you but like, you disrespect the nature. What people do, you know, through them know, say, all right, a lot of people show shades yeah. and think more to pick it up, but I'm not, me not busy with it. Because, um, protege, watch protege have a song say, when the lion, up, when, when dog bark, lion, no look, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, the lion. But like yeah. the lion there, protege, I'm saying, when lion, up, when dog bark, the lion, no even look. So, at the end of the day, my brethren, you can't. You have to try to have some self control. And if you are about unity and love, you have to do your best. Even sometimes it's not easy. But at the end of the day, you why you want to change you to be to just be argue with the next person and and corrupt your your soul. You your character. You corrupt your soul. You yeah. automatically corrupt your soul. Mm-hmm. You understand what I say? Because that's the thing about it, you know. When you can be able to forgive, when you can be able to say, you know what, it's not that I hate that person, you know. It's just that we see things from a different angle and we see things differently. But why you want to kill a man because he believes say, banana tastes better than pine? Yeah. You want to kill him for that. In belief. Yeah. And, you just see him, a different angle. and he might be right because his taste bud might be different from yours. True. You understand what I say? So I and I know we are people get up and people used to par. The worst type of people, I mean, are the people I mean, and them used to go to one time. And by the time you and them stop deal on that level, you start walk and try to spread a bag of things and bad vibe and try to stop the person in life. Those are the most, those are the evilest persons. You know, you have some people in life, they would not dare take a thousand dollars to help you, but they will take a million dollars to stop you. True. These are evil people. True, so, that's the reason why I am the type of person. If we used to be have, we used to have good times, we used to be bridging and all these things. We used to work together and live in so much unity and me never teeth nothing from you. Me never draw a knife at you, me never hurt your flesh. And me never see a woman and look her. Respect my bridging. When me and I on a certain type of level, show me respect, man. Yeah, man. Because at the end of the day, I am not an evil person. Me never done your evil. We just not see things on a certain level. No. You might grow gone so and me grow gone so. But that doesn't mean you have to go around there so and try to hold I and I. Because when you try to stop I and I, you have to try to stop a generation. Because you try to stop my children and my children, children, children. Even the branches on the tree and, got and separate all ways. all the people them what I and I would be able to feed. Because look at Capleton for example. I have to use Capleton because Capleton is one of the kindest artists on record. Yeah. Yeah? And so much people would check Capleton and Luciano. Because my power with Luciana even more than Capitan. So I can't talk for Luciana as well. And the amount of people come come check them on there sometimes for your dub, for your strength. Sometimes the amount of family help as one person. When a person tries to stop the one person in the bridging, you know how much the youth say I stop bridging. So generation it's just, kill. We need to can be able to move on. Just like a man say, oh. I have a woman left, so I go kill her. Mark At the same that, type man. of meditation that, you know. Oh, me and a person you know, in a business again like that, so I go try to pay some man to stop him thing. No. And I say you have to do it, man. You see, song them what I did do for you, promote them same way, you know, man. So what? They never did nice. You never did love them when I made their part. So all of a sudden, you nobody know, want to like them. I was so. All right, nobody like me. Like my song now? Like my video now? Yeah. But what you, but you know that you want? You want to stop my song? Why you used to push, then you want to stop my future song too. So right, they say, you know, you become a destruction to humanity. I didn't even realize. You think you hurt me, you not hurt me. You can hurt, you can't hurt, when you hurt, try to hurt a man who do God work, you know. It's like you fight against God, you know. Can't win. Right. And you have a next set of people, Bridging. People do 10 good for them, and the people them never do the one for make 11. And you know what you do? Some artists taste so too. Some producers do a lot of good. But all them walk around and every interview, oh, the producer, this and the manager did do this. And me, no, 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 Bridging. 
If I not go talk about some good, what I go, what you did do, I not go talk about the bad brethren. <laughs> As some I think set brethren. Definitely. Because, honestly, yeah, some people come around here and they never did do nothing for you. So why I go talk about the man who did do something? I mean, the sense. You understand? So you see the psychological thing about it. So if I and I, that's why I say if I don't have good for say, I say no, no, no. my mother always have a talk while I'm what she give me. My mother have a talk while I say, cuss where you go, but no cuss where you come from. You don't know where you're going you now. At least I don't know what it going on, but you don't know what's coming ahead. So always learn to, always learn from what happened and try to make yourself a better person. A whole heap of knowledge yeah, I dropped on the interview here. You know. Somebody's supposed to come sit down in the living room and learn something and get some, some knowledge. Yeah, man, and knowledge. I pray that this exact part, the last couple of minutes of I talk, this little part is in this. In, you know, make sure no, this show. We're, we're not cut That's out. why I'm there, you know, because you why I'm there and I do that interview here. Because honestly, I'm not really running a one bag of interview from what you Honestly, because I realize it's not the amount of interview you do, it's about if the universe is with you or not. And I took the time out to come and do this interview today, even at a short notice. But because it is Pelper time. Definitely. Because it's Pelper time. And I can tell you this. Um, Pelper time is not the type of platform that only run down some artists where them say are the top of the top artists or lower the lower artists are in the middle. Oh. Pelper I deal with equal rights and justice. Pelpa D with you. Long time, you know, from me, I look, from me just I start out. Pelpa. Time. Look you, yeah, from long, you, yeah, man, you know why I say so? You know why I say so? <laughs> we know so me, old. Me, no, me know what I say. <laughs> Listen to what I say to you. More time, you have to extreme it, you know. Put yeah, a little yeah, extreme. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. we are artists, you know. True. So, we not tell no lie, but we are going to use a yeah, yeah. type of exaggerate. metaphor. Exaggerate. Exaggerate. If you show yourself from day oh, one, long time, from yeah. Pelpa. Time step out. Yeah. Pelpa, first of all, Pelpa time look for all I'm friend them. Mm -hmm. Everybody why I know. Him, yeah, some people are interview people, you know. All them look for him from Sean Paul and Shaggy, you know. Yeah. And the mall is them, you know. He come like them feel like them don't need to go around there so go check out the artist there, you know. Oh, you're surprised to see the love. Where? Them show this me. Me soon have some place where some little man I try a thing. Yeah. I wanna deal there with them. Sometimes I see all the artists sing and they even sing good, but they don't tell him how to sing. <laughs> I say, yeah. I say, this man, them are people that I love that. True so, indeed, in man. our community, in our community, the music development and all these things. So, Bridget, I support for support. Definitely. Trust me, because I'm a man, we just stay in the bush and I'm some leaf, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I man. You have to come out. I'm not business, Bridget. No Wi Fi. No, I realize nothing. certain things. I realize certain things. I'm so one with the Almighty right now. When we realize, say, you have to just one with the, good with the universe, and the universe will take care of you. You understand? You ever see some man just run down the world and the world run from him? Mm. <laughs> right, no because him not try to understand, say, if you're sick, land, you're in the universe, because you is a part of the universe. Definitely. And the universe is a part of you. Just try to live in harmony with it. You understand what I mean? I said the name there. Look in at this. General. This is a chain. This is a chain. Yeah. But you have links. Am I right? Yeah. But it's one chain. And every one of these links are playing their role. One pop and chain drop. You see what I say? So that is how we need to understand, say. We, as especially artists in this business, a man feel like, say, if you have a rival, if you really reach somewhere. Yeah. You understand me? I say we need to cut out that something there to one name. Say, why oh, if you not compete? Yeah, but some of these competition are really. The, no, some of them kind of. I look how you're talking about your big chain. But, but the type of. I can say you're a big chain too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that style. You know, you know, you know money, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I show you, it just really come to my mind now. Yeah, the link. Because I give you a joke. I have a car. You know, say between me and my brother, I have a few people who say, your nature is different. You know, say sometimes I park my car and I might go at a place. And me and my brother them a roll and then I come out of the place, me and them and me a walk, a walk, a walk and then I say, yo, see care, I say, I remember me driving. Yeah. Me name remember me decide for y'all to walk, go somewhere and far play, me name remember about car. Yeah. You understand? I'm going to tell you something again about car. 
sometimes as much as you have your car, whether you're cheap car or your dear car, because like categorize things. So I make you know. <laughs> car in general, because some people want that. All bicycle, whatever. Transportation in general. Bike, whatever. More time you need to park the car, walk. Walk. Especially now the gas prices are not going. Because about gas is about your body need that exercise. Your people are dead because they don't walk, you know. They don't exercise, you know. People have serious back problems because they don't take the time out to walk. walk Big people. serious illness. So what may I try to show the item say? Of all the things them, of all the necessities in life, but make sure and I'm all the vanity you want because if I me work for this and me work for that, my post can get it if I want. Especially if I know say me not do it under circumstances where say, somebody over there said dead for hungry and me buy all these things and me not care about my neighbor was hungry and could I buy something less expensive and help my neighbor. If my sister my neighbor good and my family good and far as me can look, you know, everything kind of balance, I can buy something for myself. What nice. You understand what I say? But make sure you say your body is the temple of the Almighty. And in your body, the soul lives. That's why when I talk, I out of my mouth, your ear, my voice. And in the Bible, in the beginning, Genesis, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. A word is power. Word is. I acknowledge a word and the soul work you guys one. If you notice, you can't see the soul. You can't feel it. You can't hear. It's like the electricity. It's, it's, it's in the atmosphere. You cannot man. see the electricity like just like that. You can't see. But you see the, the electric air. wire, which is a conductor. This conductor, we see each other. But you see the electricity within us, the soul that live within us. We have to protect that. Yeah, man. It's not about a man get up every day and him wipe on him car. And him not take the time out to meditate and check himself. You have a man right now, him foot has hurt him for how long? Him not go to a doctor. Go check what's going on with him foot. But as him carry tire bus, he fix that. Or up and get the next tire patch quick, quick, quick. Yeah, but him foot, him foot have a sore And him foot a rotten half. <laughs> a fox. You want to make so, see all them knowledge in my job? Better you want to make no memes out of this. See? Make some memes, them energy, man. man. And put up some status. Let me tell you something. I want you to put can go in there, you know. Because yeah. since just, you yeah, talk and you yeah, pump me up. True, <laughs> <laughs> But you're not a pump. But watch you now. Sometimes you don't know. We are just passing through and we don't know how long we are here in flesh. And we, got, we don't know who is watching right now and want this knowledge. There was a point when I sold my car. Start work as an artist, what people know. And decide, say, and sell a couple of other things that I have. Mm -hmm. And do this and do that. In order to make up and have a house. Good move, that. You have some man now, let go them care to make up even that 10 grand in the house shorter. <laughs> in the house, in the house, in not even a chain. He not like a ring because he must feel like he must look at the mindset that we need to change at. Yeah, we need to understand that so if you seek the more important things in life, a roof over the head. One at a time, I have my car and everything bridging alone. I have a car and I don't have a proper roof. I don't have a roof in general. One at a time, I live out a road. Nobody don't know that. Maybe I saw the only person or the second place I ever thought this. One at a time, I had the first place I ever thought this. One of the time I live in my car and nobody know. But few people. I sleep a halfway tree in my car for two hours. Then I drive go three miles and sleep in my car for the next two hours. And then I drive go cross road go sleep in my car for two hours again. So uh, the strategy there now? The strategy there is what? because yeah. if I sleep in my car straight, somebody might realize that the car just part this up. Yeah. And when you name nature, you know, yeah. a lot of people. Everybody I might not be known, known as how Juna Gang be known. But when them see, if me drive around as an artist, I drive around in a car for a little while, them know that car there. <laughs> and I'm gonna go check notice and I say, what's going on? The art, artist part is so. So the strategy is not to make nobody know, say, I sleep, I sleep in my car. Anyway, you're but go sleep go in your car tonight. 
Just call with video it and viral. <laughs> <laughs> so I got through them something there. I've been through them things there already. You understand what I'm saying? One. And so what does I say, Bridging? Life is just for living, Bridging. Nobody, have, you see a man out there, you don't know him struggle when I got through. True if you have a little true. house, a roof over him head. You don't know what I'm going You don't know, Bridging. So put on the bad mind. Put on the grudge. Put on the hate. You see, if you see a man with a house, just be clean in your heart and say, yo, Jizzy, yo, uh, what do you do? How you achieve that? Don't do it because you want to know. So you can, it's not a bad mind quest. quest. You do it from a good place. We need to ask things from a good place, not figure up, mix up, and say, say. True, you know what I mean? True you see, Jizzy and him, I do him, him, him journalism work, and you see him with the platform and I do him thing, I say, yo, you know what I like for do that? Don't just don't try if you destroy him image and spread propaganda. Go and check him and say, Brother, you know I like what you do. How it go? And you can't show a youth and show a man. Don't bad mind. Because some people bad mind for everything nowadays in a Brazil. Hey, I can't tell a man this. If I, if I could have, if I could not sing this good, I would have reached probably reach far. Yes, when you can do good, <laughs> do some things good, <laughs> it's a problem. A war, you know? Yeah. Because so much haters. Fight. Because remember, you know, the ones that are on the top, you know, they are very talented, you know. Mo most of them. But they not fight the man that you thought of the garbage bit. No, right. So it's like, if you get a space, it's like sometimes instead of them ones that were out there already and have the power, instead of them help you up, they want to keep it down there. So it's a war. So sometimes you can't, you have to just give thanks. For the people them who reach up there too, because they go through so much struggle. But I just beg the one them, I go through the struggle and reach up there. Don't get, make it corrupt you. Don't make it, don't, because you have some, you have big artists talk a lot of times. Oh, them youth, they don't go through nothing, you know. Them know when they have to lift up sound box. Bleach a studio gate. And because of that, them tend to just reluctant to help a youth because they feel like the youth not going to go through certain things what they go through. Why? So as we talk about the youth, them, in the young generation, Music now, I go on today now. Who do you listen to? You listen to anyone? Them young youth where do them thing now? Reggae, dance, all let, let, me, let me let me be, be real with you. Um, I am the type of artist who I try my best to to, to listen safely. <laughs> like you see the name and I say. Me, me try for me try for listen safe because. Yeah, we have some man we do some song, you know, but him do one country song or two. But by the time he reach when I'm song, you listen him. He gone to one place, he just throw you off. Yeah. He gone, he gone back in one place, he just murder some people. Yeah. So, me as a man, yes, me listen one and two a certain artist. But me try to keep on and listen to my original artist. I listen, I listen to Ghana still. I listen, I listen, um, I can call some name where enough people don't call right now. I'm sorry, everybody a bandwagon, I don't want to be a bandwagonist. More that me like artists like myself, where, we, where me and them are bridging from long time, see me like even Drew Lion. Yeah. A lot of people, them just make it look like I just four or five rasters sing consciousness. <laughs> you know, as young people, you know what I mean? You have Drew Lion who sing some great music. You have, um, you have youth like Imar Shepard. Um, yo, so many, so many artists, you know what I mean? You have David Luther King. Um, you know what I mean? And we still we listen like and you can't help but to hear Protege, Chronics and so forth. Because there's there are people that are our peers. You understand what I mean? I say, but there are some people all them all mention a chronics and protege. And them know I remember the youth around this way. I want a great singer too. Because everybody just wanna talk about who oh, the people them talk about a lot. Just like how a lot of people talk about when them come on a platform like this, the, them them say, which reggae artist say artist? The only person they mention is Bob Marley. Yeah. So what about Ghana Silk? You liar. Yeah. <laughs> you don't listen to Jacob Miller. You go on like and, and when you check it out, some of them sound like more like a Dennis Brown, but he might tell us a Bob Marley. You understand me? I say, don't get me wrong, you know, because Bob Marley is one of my greatest influences. And Bob Marley is the king of reggae. You understand? Yeah, and, and, and you can't me don't know when they all try to give it and you can't work. You know, it's all tough because the work what a man they put in in a time like that, when Reggae music, the conscious music, certain music, Jamaican music was not played that frequently on the radio. And the man they have to fight for that. Because that the souls and foreign songs they play and the man they, So I'm gonna have to put himself in that time they have to see why Bamala the king. But what I'm saying, do not be 
a person who was inspired by Jacob Miller. Mm -hmm. And all you want to come and talk about is the more popular names. Don't get me wrong, you know, Jacob Miller, big, big top name, you know, beside Bob Marley, you know. No, yeah, I see them as same level. But what I'm saying, a man no one say Ghana still inspire him. Because everywhere I'm going to tell them say Ghana, you know. Well, so me, me know a man was sound like a Ghana still more than even me. And when you hear them say, who inspire you? A Bob Marley. I <laughs> say, yes, a Bob Marley too, but say Ghana, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, you, you understand what I mean? I say, people just have a thing about them where... Hey, if I know the name there, them the feet, them feel, you know. Yeah, the cliche name. Yeah, but as Mr. Bridging, but don't so regards to what I know what you're really not really asking me though. But me like artists like TJ. TJ. Yeah. Up top boss. TJ, yes, TJ have all type of music. But me love TJ. Yeah. You understand? Uh, me and TJ. And them thing that. Yeah, we even have a collab together, you know. Mm. Yeah, it was it was under promoted. But that's okay. My thing regards to TJ, I'm just happy to see that you there where I go, me go, me go, me go see a mobile. Because I'm a bridging go look for go look for them in a mobile and at a studio. Go look for a bridging name, Melody Blacks at the time and you know. Rhyme Minister was there at the studio too. Um TJ was the engineer at the time. Yeah, Mobile co Coalition. Uh, right, and, and, and so forth. So I went there and just that's a, in my community. And um, well, Devon. I'm just happy to know that when I raised with TJ, them, if you remember the dialogue at the time, I, mean, I said, yo, you have to come to town to, you know, because I reason, and I don't know, he does, me think him here, and I don't think I'm alone here from, but I'm just happy to know, say, a youth where I'm from, nearby community, we came to Kingston, and um, we don't par every day, and we don't talk every day, but the youth there, I see something in him. Where him have, him have a soul. I think he's one of the real artists because a lot of artists out there are just art of tune. I save them and some things in the studio. But TJ is a good singer. A lot of people don't even know that TJ can play instrument. Yeah. You understand what I mean? I say, so, as I say, I might not be a fan of all his songs, but I see something in TJ and him have some strong songs. Definitely. And the reason why a lot of these artists don't do more of the type of songs that me would have like for them to hear more of is because a lot of the time we, some of we people who say we like consciousness, we don't support it when, it, when them conscious songs they come out. True. Some of us don't request those songs enough. So as I say, I like Rygin King as well, TJ, because I'm talking about Moby artists and, and so forth. And you know, we just love artists, you know. In general, you know, because at the end of the day, you have artists who start out some ways and end up certain ways. Because you have a lot of artists who are even raster right now. If you check the history, them start out to sing a whole heap of songs what they call slack songs. And them are some of the most <laughs> disciplined raster man now, them born the most fire. No. Fox, so I and I is not here and we not come to preach perfection, honestly. Definitely. I am here because enough of the youth them what them sing certain song is a reflection of what they are seeing. And, the background and what's and really them, happening. Them, them community. Right. Sometimes them not even talk for themselves either. They matter about what them Right. You know what I mean? And and, and and a lot and a lot of people are not strong like me. Cause me can't go and like say everybody I go get up and, and fast. And everybody can do fasting. Some people have ulcer. Yeah. Stomach. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Say? So and everybody, when we mean that metaphorically speaking, and everybody can hold it out and say, yo, I just conscious music more and sing. Because when you check it out, a man sing about five gun songs right now. Him quick I forget two dub plate. Kill song. Because I sound one that for dub. You understand what I mean? So say? That doesn't mean say people. Your sound, your song them yeah, you so, must kill sound. Oh, I mean enough sound nature, yeah, let's kill man. Remember say I mean Lucian them partner and no and nobody not do dub like Lucian them. You must kill Kill so sound that's how we say we can kill sound. Yeah, you understand? But we just not in the forty-five now. Cause the forty-five is the gun, you know, the musical gun, you know. Music forty-five, name man. See? So when you go to a woman, I push out the forty-five, you know, make sure you say about shot of righteousness, you know. But when it's a vibe, you no, know, like a, a, a like a sound thing and sound clash, whatever, no one. You can turn a little thing and twist it and bam, 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 and you eat your food. And everyone knows, say, yo, rare. But you have enough man right now. Them not just a singy song, you know. Them a real murder of it, too. And me go as, to, oh, medit, to deep, me go in my meditation. 
I am a person that even me not scan people who kill people, you know. Me scan people who kill people for the wrong reason. If you kill a man for self-defense, different thing that. Because I know a man that I kill, I kill a demon. A predator or a destroy community. But have to be real to the thing. True. Self-defense. You know, I'm in my house right now and a man I come in and I try to hurt me and my family. I'm going to defend myself. And you understand? get boarded up, I just suck. So. Right, so... We just hope say once when they do what they do, they're conscious of what they do. Oh, your social media. Yeah. Social media are going. In, I let them know you. Your Instagram and them things. Eh? Let people them know about you. The album, where to find your album. So we'll go wrap it up now, you know. Yeah, man. First and foremost, you can find my album, Revolution Choice, on all platforms that sell music. Yeah. And download music. iTunes. Everywhere. Everyone. Apple. Everyone. Everything. No. Regards to social media, mostly on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I have other people who tend to manage certain other areas from time to time. You Instagram name? Official Nature Ellis Music. Official, Official Nature, Nature Ellis, Ellis Music. music. One yeah. word. No yeah, one and a lot of time know. people contact this one and them find out what the rest of things then. So go follow as Nature well. you know. As well, you know what I mean? Vivo? And Instagram. Like talking about uh, YouTube, Vivo, yeah, YouTube, Nature Ellis, Nature Ellis, again. yeah, Nature Ellis, one yeah. word, no underscore, no right? Name. And um, talk about Facebook, Andre Nature Ellis, Andre Nature Ellis, real name, oral, oral. I mean, I mean, I mean, them call it, but it's a serious name that me at one point me used to kind of feel that way about the name because you know how people turn it. But oral is just one name, unless it other certain things beside it. <laughs> it becomes my next thing. Mm -hmm. Oral only means mouth. Mm -hmm. And we all use my mouth. Yeah. If you do we work right now, I'm a singer, I use my mouth. We talk, Journalist. yeah, that's orally. Yeah. So when a man says, yo, when the doctor tells us, yo, um, you take oral the medicine, exam. you take the medicine orally, basically you go take it through your mouth. So it is by pill or drink it, whatever. So all the rest of things that some people are thinking about behaving yourself. Yeah, <laughs> Nature Ellis people, you don't know already. Like I said, follow all his um, platforms Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Vivo. This was a very interesting and educational interview. A lot of knowledge was spoke. I mean, so we just relax and I say, I'm a man with jovial and I love running joke, but more Come time, yeah. Just easy may I let, yeah, may I just tell people that I don't do interview in no more more reason. A reason them going on. Yeah, man, because a lot of people do interviews and them have interviews as well, like, uh, them hide a whole heap of things. Yeah. You understand? It's all the yeah, thing, man. man. But we not really, we, we have, I, we can keep certain things to, to a level, but you have certain things we need to tell the people. Them, because if you don't tell a youth certain things, you must, you might think you might alone and go through it and you might not know, say, yeah, some, if, like for example, a Jimmy Cliff movie, the harder they come. You know how much artists that inspire? Who really who wall it out because they watch the movie and know say you never get it easy. You may have to fight and you know, you might not exactly things why I go through, but you know, you know, say it comes with work and hardship sometimes. You know? Alright, for the times now that we're in, more you close off the show with world peace. I'm just want the world peace part alone, you know. Why you go in a verse for them. Cause 2022, we want peace. Yes. Sing for them. If you want peace, we're gonna get the peace through freedom. And things. So first, me say free the dumb, free them, free the dumb, so that they can speak. Yeah, we say world peace to equal rights and justice. World peace is what we're fighting for. World peace, we want the violence cease down there in Nigeria. Down there in South Africa, Sudan and Uganda, Ethiopia and all over Africa, right here in Jamaica, with a PNP, RGLP, all over the Caribbean, let love set us free. Hey, world peace is what we're fighting for. Yes. You have, to go, you have to say Russia and Ukraine too. You have to do the double plate version. Well, I'm still doing my research on Russia and Ukraine and what's going on. <laughs> Love. Respect. All right. Pelpa TV!
Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time. Room, 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 room. Pelpa Time Production. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time Production. The Pelpa TV. For Pelpa Time. It's a Pelpa Time. You know it's that time. Pelpa Time TV. I'm governor representing of the Pelpa Time. You know. Pelpa Time, you know what you think of? I win as a Pelpa Time. I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee. I'm on a Pelpa Time and I represent for you see with Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time right now. Oh, Pelpa Time. I want to them, them. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. We're down for Pelpa Time Productions. Pelpa Time Production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa Time. Keep it locked. Time represent for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa. Yeah, man. Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV. Cross. Help the time protection. Mm.